like to welcome you this afternoon to St. Barbara's Catholic Church as we join these two that you know and love, Ashlyn Cameron and the Sacrament of Holy Matrimony. Love has always been the kind of thing that knocked me off my feet Until you came and picked me up by never really understood what people meant by wait and see But now I'm seeing all the things that we could be Oh, you and me Tell me why Love can't always be this easy Time seems to stand still when you're standing near me I spent my whole life second guessing everything But now I'm sure It's you that I've been waiting for We have come together into the house of the church so that in the presence of the church's minister in this community, your intention in an entering into marriage may be strengthened by the Lord with a sacred seal. Tell me why love can't always be this easy time. Seems to stand still when you stand. Cameron, do you take Ashley to be your wife? Do you promise to be faithful to her in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love her and to honor her all the days of your life? I do. Ashley, do you take Cameron to be your husband? Do you promise to be faithful to him in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love him and to honor him all the days of your life? I do. May the Lord in his kindness strengthen the consent you have declared before the church and graciously bring to fulfillment his blessing within you. What God joins together, let no one put asunder. May the Lord bless these rings, which you will give to each other as a sign of love and fidelity. Ashley, receive this ring. Ashley, receive this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Cameron, receive this ring. Cameron, receive this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> Love has always been the kind of thing that knocked me off my feet Until you came and picked me up by I never really understood what people meant by wait and see But now I'm seeing all the things that we could be Oh, you and me Tell me why Love can't always be this easy Time seems to stand still when you're standing near me I've spent my whole life second guessing everything But now I'm sure It's you that I've been waiting for Exactly how we planned But I'll always 
always be right there to hold your hand I promise that I'm gonna love you as long as I um, For those of you who don't know me, my name's Ellie and when I say the Tomazis are my second family I truly mean that because I have known this girl and her family since we were about four years old She walked up to me the first day of pre-kindergarten and said Hi, my name's Ashley and you're going to be my friend now But you really hit the jackpot when you found this girl. <laughs> and best friend, I may say that you have chosen a wonderful person for your life partner. I mean, he's a handsome doctor. What could be better than that? <laughs> But seriously, Cameron, as much as I know Ashley is proud of you for all your hard work and academic accomplishments, they are not the reason I know that you are the perfect person for my best friend. It's all the little things you do for her every day. Like making her those amazing meals. For those of you who don't know, Cameron is quite the chef. And you also do everything you can to help her de-stress when work, Wendell, or life in general has her in a tizzy. So I'm Jacob. Um, almost you probably know me as Carl, but it's uh, my nickname in Polish. So Cameron, I mean, I'm your best man. I've known you for some time now, probably about 15 years, half of our life. And We've gotten to know each other pretty well. Uh, we initially met in high school, studying in your basement together with Kevin. And we were in skiing together in Metro Detroit. We ultimately lived together in college uh, at the University of Michigan. And it all came down to finally our race to become doctors, which I won. <laughs> Are you, are you graduating is it this spring or next spring? <laughs> I forgot. They call them like it's like sort of a So, so I, I know Cameron pretty well, and you know, I thought one useful thing I could do today is kind of tell Ashley's family and extended family a little bit more about him that you might not really know. So, first of all, and I think this is the most obvious one, is uh, he's a man of many words, very outspoken. <laughs> And they didn't put a mic on him today at mass. I mean, they probably, probably have permanent ear damage. <laughs> I can confirm, though, you might not have heard, but I was standing right next to him. He did say I do. <laughs> so, Cameron's also an avid car collector, you guys might not know. I, I mean, we've been driving for what, like 15 years, I think, only? And I mean, I don't know if we're like at eight or nine cars. Today, I give you my wife, Cameron. <laughs> I'll keep one title, though, that of sister. All right, now everyone settle in. Last time I applauded, it was about 35 minutes, so, you know. All right, I got all to say. And that's also about the pauses for dramatic effects, applause, you know, cheers, crying, so. In all honesty, I will try to keep this as short as I possibly can while giving away my wife. After so many years. So here we go. This is founded out the most simple speech that I have ever written and I will ever give. How do I sum up a rocky start? Both of us not liking each other as preteens and being pushed by our mutual best friend, Ellie, to give each other a chance. The fateful trick or treat, trickery, where you showed up to my surprise and chagrin. However, Ellie forced us to spend that evening together, and I would have known that we were going to be such fast friends, I would have asked for it much sooner. She knew that we were going to hit it off, and that started us off on the path to friendship and allowed us to become sisters. You two have so much love and a true friendship, I cannot wait to see how it grows in the years to come. There is nothing you two cannot face, this pandemic being one of them. I love you both. <laughs> Thank you and good evening, Admiral. As you heard, I'm the father of the bride. On behalf of my wife 
and my extended family, the Miller family, we want to welcome you to this evening to enjoy this special moment with our family and friends. And every one of you out here because of family and friends. We're married for about 17 years and uh, we were trying to have a, a little one and uh, by the grace of God after 17 years, um, he said, you need a purpose in your life. And um, we had Ashley come into our life. Uh, needless to say, we needed a plan because this is a big deal because she was supposed to be delivered in Green Bay at St. Vincent's Hospital. And uh, so we devised a plan. If my wife's water breaks, my parents would come, we have a, a bumper car that would go ahead. And if we hit a deer, we all jump into the next car and we ran along. So all of a sudden, I get like 10 minutes out of Green Bay and I said, I forgot my camera. I said, this is my special occasion. And my mother-in-law turns to me and looks and says, you think that's bad? I forgot my false teeth. <laughs> but it's been a wonderful relationship with my daughter growing up. She's, she's always been very...